I left my job. I started studying for the CFP exam. And, and then I just started thinking like, okay, I've spent nearly 15 years in this industry and I have yet to find a single firm that I would actually use myself and recommend to people that I care about. So I guess I'm just going to have to create it. I love that. My neck's going to be tired from nodding so much. There's so much overlap in our two stories. You know, I've, I felt so similar in, in the corporate world caught up between, you know, I need to make a living, but also I don't believe in these things that I'm, you know, sort of being forced to sell on commission. And I don't believe in this asset collection model for all the reasons that you just said. So I want to get your take on this because a lot of people ask me, well, then how do I find a good advisor? And it's not an easy question because even as advisors, right, we're constantly sifting through all this jargon and terminology and a million different ways to charge people. So what advice do you give someone who says, well, you know what? I do want a fiduciary, honest advisor who's not going to make commissions off of me. I like the idea of flat fee. Where do they even begin? Well, you have to start with the person. You have to get to know the person on a human level, understand what their values are, make sure that their values align with your values. That's more important than even the business models that I mentioned. I think that the flat fee structure that I use, and I think you use as well, right, Josh? I do. Is by far in the best interest of clients. Like I think that's the future of our industry. 